Industry body ASOCHAM has released a report titled Safeguarding Investments, Investor Protection and Education in collaboration with Research in India, a corporate financial advisory firm on Friday. The report highlights that India has made significant progress in investments in financial markets both directly and through mutual funds. India's market capitalization has reached $3.31 trillion, securing it the fifth spot among the 10 most valued countries. So awareness comes when you are educated. When you are aware, you know how to protect yourself. The people have to be made aware of, educated as to, if you walk in this particular stake at this particular point of time, what will be the risk? Now, whether you want at that point of time, and if you want to walk, what type of assistance or guidance you have to take to face the challenge or the risk is very important. The report provides insights on investment approaches for individual investors. It highlights methods such as 60 is to 40 portfolio management that involve allocating 60% in stocks and 40% in bonds. The income investing approach focuses on generating cash income from stocks through dividends and fixed income from bonds. The value investing approach focuses on investing in companies based on their intrinsic value. In India, we all are good savers. But when it comes to investment, when you want to call yourself as an investor, we are definitely not one, four, five steps behind. The responsibility of the regulator, the responsibility of the intermediaries, it is the responsibility of the uh, issuer companies to educate the savers and convert them into investors. The report emphasizes that a collective effort involving financial institutions, industry forums and regulatory bodies is required to enhance investor education in the country.